Welcome to The Advocate on PLUS TV Africa, where we discuss thought-provoking topics in an atmosphere of seriousness, decisiveness, and laughter. Here we call a spade a spade. Today, I'm asking if the presidential seat is now a thing where anybody with money and power can easily vie for. Tulu is pointing out how leaders reflect us. Ruth is asking if we need to take our primary seriously. And Shola, on the other hand, is looking at the new Electoral Act and why Elijah is focusing on fixing the sham that is Nigerian politics. Sit back and relax. After this break, we'll be here to dissect it all. Do stay with us. Is the presidential seat now a joke? In the past few weeks, we've seen more and more people get into the presidential race. I mean, have seen people who should probably be on exile now get into the presidential race. Is the audacity of impunity for me? This makes me consciously believe that Nigeria is fast becoming a comedy skit. And guess who the joke is? The masses. I can't help but fusing a popular trend on Twitter. Is this playing? Are you playing? What type of playing is this? Could this also be the change blindness, a term that is used in psychology, which politicians adopt as an advanced strategy to human beings can only focus on so much. If you want to hide something from the people, throw several things at them and then what you're really doing will go unnoticed until it's too late. I just hope it's not going to be too late for us. I strongly believe that whoever ends up at the presidential seat in the 2023 elections is going to be very critical to Nigeria's position in the next decade. I personally implore everyone, both young and old, to get involved and closely follow what's happening. I'm still very much flabbergasted with everything, but let me take a moment off the screen to engage my fellow passionate advocate here, asking one singular question. What's really going on here i was about, I was about asking you the same situation <laughs> I, I, they said they, uh, one of the political parties extended the deadline of purchase of home today and then tomorrow is the deadline for submission mm -hmm. so like are they doing applying for jam or what <laughs> so, <laughs> what you, you know but, you but, talked about yeah. the audacity i think that's actually my main the main crux of this issue mm. because you're they're handling the political the presidential position like a joke mm. and we masses actually the ones that would you know bear bear you know bear the suffering mm. now you just uh, you're just a bunch of um, politicians you just buy forms and these forms are not cheap they're not cheap so you you get together one person is buying a form they're just buying the forms and these forms are we all know it's 100 million for a particular party and it's not small money so that's where you know that there's actually money in nigeria to waste there's so much money to waste i mean they should just yes. give us the money let's just exactly. share the 100 just million share this money. <laughs> just, so much I, think, to waste. I think these parties are missing this thing the still i understand that party has to do things for far that means to waste money for the party but this mm. is way beyond it's too is in excess mm -hmm. why don't they focus on values presidential form can be they can even make it almost free, but the criteria for you to get it will be very difficult. Exactly. And to be somebody of value, if you don't have that level of personality or achievement, you can't get it. But the way it is now, every Tom Dick has it as 100 million era. One night bill in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the bus park will be 100 million era. Go and buy the phone. I mean, it's very interesting. Yeah, Sorry, Ruth. I mean, you know, when I said change blindness, right? It didn't happen in 2019 elections. Mm -hmm. I don't think that happened in 2015 elections. So what's really going on? Are they trying to distract us from something? Why is everybody, you know, that obviously is, coming out for, I, for, I, I, for I, the farm? Yeah. You know, so what, what's really happening? For me, I, I keep on asking myself, really, what's the brain behind bringing 100 million to buy a farm? I mean, the other day I saw, that was yesterday, I saw that the MD of Nigerian Mint company thereabouts also purchased the farm. So, CBN governor purchased the farm. <laughs> Ministers have purchased the yeah, form. Those Everybody has purchased the form. Talking, people yeah. are even buying on people's behalf. So is either I'm trying to wrap my head. Are they? Are, is anyone trying to register the fact that they have the money to do this? Or is or, it audio money? Or is it that they're trying to <laughs> support? Maybe maybe there's something behind is that the politicians are not telling us because it's just not normal. And it's and to be frank, 
this um, number, you're only seeing it in the, in the ruling party. Um, mm -hmm. The last count for PDP, which whose um, ticket um, price is even lower, mm -hmm. is just 17 people. Mm -hmm. So I hear in the ruling party, you're having close to 30 people that have bought a hundred million naira from. There's something they're not telling us. I think I would go with the fact that this is like a decoy to the real thing that um, they are trying to do or trying to hide. That's, that's the way I believe it. And the case was reversed then when PDP was in power. The same thing too. Even though it was not 100 million, it was exorbitant at that time. And mm -hmm. of course, a lot of persons will show interest. What I think tells two things. Number one, it tells the over-monetization of Nigerian politics. Our value system is decaying. Exactly. We don't have to live our life based on money. You don't judge someone's content of character and value based on how much does he have in the bank account. It's supposed to be his antecedent. What has he done in the past? How many life has he touched? Is he exactly. a man of integrity? Yeah. Exactly. But the way they are doing it is all about money, money, money. More. Every time they can hurry, we, mm. we buy it because he has 100 million naira. Even mm -hmm. somebody in the government who is not even supposed to buy the form, eh? mm -hmm. a politically exposed person in, in handling a very sensitive office, he's not supposed to buy the form. And then people are buying the form for him. Mm. It's very bad. So there should be a mechanism in which they screen out people. Not everybody should purchase the form. And the form shouldn't be a means for parties to raise money. It's a distraction. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, hi, Chulu. It's great to see you. What do you think about, you know, I mean, this whole, will I call it a sham or a joke? You know, is it change blindness? You know, I mean, tell us. I mean, probably you're closer to the seat of power. Maybe you can, <laughs> maybe you can <laughs> tell us what's going on there. Chulu. Yeah. Hi, guys. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. I mean, clearly, uh, there's nothing new here. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the circus that happens every four years in Nigeria. And there's nothing new to see here. You know, and it's, I mean, like you said, clearly it's a joke. But it's just, um, it's just a piece out of a whole circus, out of a whole comedy mm. show, you know, that happens every four years. Um, obviously, uh, the electorate is not tired enough. I mean, I say that we're tired, but we're not tired enough. When we're really tired, Right, we'll do something about it. Uh, if, if history is, I mean, history is, is, is bereft with stories of countries that have attained independence in the recent of the world, you know, or are practicing them in the recent of the world. Uh, I mean, it takes a whole lot more. I mean, yeah, last week we talked about this, right? Shabai, you talked about this. I said, if you wanted to count how many leaders in, in Nigeria, they're not up to 100,000 people that are actually leaders, they're not up to 50,000, they're not up to 10,000. And there are 200 million people in Nigeria. So it's a case of, you know, the few against the many. So until the many decide that, you know, they are tired of this joke, it's no longer funny. You know, this circus is going to happen in another four years. After 2027, it's going to be another circus. And then 2031, you know, it's going to go on and on until somebody decides or a, a group who decides that, you know what, uh, we've had enough of the joke, let's do something different, you know. Because if you just look at the whole process, you know, from the from buying of the forms, the cost of the forms, to the kind of people, the quality of people, and I'll say a bit more about this when I, you know, say my piece. So the, to the type of people that I even vying for this position, you ask yourself, you know, someone has been able to pay salaries in a state of four million, five million people wants to come and rule Nigeria of two million people. It just makes no sense. Clearly, they're having a laugh. You know, it's, it's quite obvious that they're having a laugh. Well, thank you so much, Tolu. Um, you know, if this is a joke, um, in a couple of months, um, we're going to find out. But I would employ every Nigerian to get involved, you know, in any way they think that they can get involved. Because right now, it's not just about, you know, talking, talking, talking. We have to somehow, you know, get infused into what's going on, you know, and let's see where this takes us to. Up next is Tolu. Do stay with us.